Hey friends, it's Bob here. If you're like me, you love high performance boating and that's the reason why you're watching this. And the purpose of this video is to share with you some of my passion about boating, but also some of the lessons learned uh, for programming the ACU that Tony Brocato at BrocatoSVS.com sells. So I live for moments like this and last year I went with some friends to King of the Hill rally and I had just an absolute blast. It, it was absolutely the most fun vacation I can remember. Although it was hard to remember some of it. <laughs> um, but obviously, one of the things that happened during the festivities was kind of this redneck racing. And you can see some of my friends there. And of course, you always have a nemesis. In this case, it's the famous Black Lather. And... They gave me a lot of hard time and said I was going to get nailed by this boat. And I believed it because it was very fast. Uh, my 28 Lightning ET, we lined up for the first time. And the surprising thing happened was I actually couldn't find him until the end of the course. So I don't know why, but my boat ran really well that time. And so I had such a great time. And they bestowed the king to me which was was quite an honor and anyway so when you buy the software that Tony Bricado has and you can see it here the ACU management software it comes with these three pieces of hardware in the center is a software dongle and if you're not familiar with that term it's basically an engineer device that prevents anyone from using his software to program the ACU uh, if you haven't paid the paid for it so it prevents that and then the the serial you know cord for I guess connecting to your laptop in the boat if you want to get real-time data and then the power supply in my case uh, the power supply that we had um, may not have given the correct voltage so we learned that we had to connect the ACU to the boat directly and use the boat's battery instead of this device. I don't know if there was something wrong with that particular one, but it caused uh, some problems that I'll show you later. Now, the software comes with a number of instructions. The first is you need to find this DLL file and put it in your Windows or window, and I put it both, Windows System 32 folder. So basically it's this this file right here. And that's not a big deal. But what is a big deal is that most modern laptops come with USB and not serial adapters. So you have to go to the store and buy another device uh, which allows your laptop a USB uh, to work with a serial port, RS-232 uh, serial connection port. But once you do that, the other trick is to make sure to force to assign it to the COM1 uh, communication port. So you go to your device manager and then you have to go there and I'll show you how to do that in the video uh, where I'm working on the boat which will be coming up uh, right away. Thank you very much and hope you enjoy this. Bye now. So the, the key is he's got this dongle device that connects right to the ACU and you can see it here and Nelson's called Genius, so he came up with a way to mount the ACU kind of this way, so perhaps later I can get real-time data by routing the serial cable through here and the laptop in the back of my boat. That's our RS-232 serial adapter. And I bought one from the Office Mac. The key that I've learned is really has to do with the hardware setup. And you want to make sure, this is very critical, that your hardware is set up to COM port 1. And the way to do that is you go into the port settings on your, on your computer, and you go into this advanced, and then you force it to use COM 1. If it's using COM whatever, you just force it to go back to COM 1. That's, that's key. Um, and that's another one of those lessons you get later. Now I'll go ahead and run this. It looks like everything's good except, aha, gotta turn the power on. So for me, it's just key on for the power and that should do it. And the ECU itself should be blinking right now. And you can see on top here it is. 
and you hit hit start. Now it should change the serial number on my screen. There we go. Finally got it. And you see it put my ECU serial number right in there, which is awesome. That means it's connected and it's it's working. And it takes you to this calibration sheet. Where here I want to read in. So this is a program and I'm, I'm gonna change it because that's not what I'm running. I'm running a 200 Pro Max, not a 280. So we'll read in. I don't won't say this is easy because uh, it's taken a long time to get to this point where it runs halfway good. And you see the rev limiter is 9500. So apparently, and the Pro Max, uh, 200 Pro Max program. So this is what's actually in uh, my ACU. So that's awesome. The thing that when you when you do uh, make changes and you hit send to and transmit, you have to kind of watch that blinking light up here. It'll stop blinking and then blink intermediately, like once every five seconds. And as long as it blinks once every five seconds, I think it's